Have you ever wondered how docks are built in tropical environments where people need to drill through solid coral bed? Well, I have. And today, I travel all the way to the southernmost point of the United States to see how it's done. Pay attention, Brian. Today, we're in Key Largo, and we're with Upper Keys Marine Construction. They're going to teach me how they put pilings in and frame up a dock today. I've never seen that, so I'm excited to learn. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, this crane is picking things up. It's doing crane stuff. We're going to get into that later, but looks like somebody's house sank over the weekend. That sucks. Now, this this is essentially just a tree that's been cut down and deranged and then called a pile. Yes, and no tree grows straight, as you can see. It's... If you look down the if you look down the line here, you can see how wobbly this tree is, um, and in, and that would be one of the reasons why the hole has to be so much larger than the diameter of one of these pilings. Correct. So you make if you make the hole a little bit wider, you pound this down in resistance. We're trying to get six to eight feet embedment into solid coral rock. Eight feet. Six to eight feet. Yeah. That's crazy. And then once you pound it down in there, it's kind of a, like you played a kid's game, you know, peg in a hole, yeah. it, it eventually will stop and, and secure itself. And then over time, as the hole that we made, the sand and silt will fill in the remaining hole that's that's open towards the top. So, the, so you're not pouring some type of marine concrete in there? No, sir. These pilings are covered in a coating not only to protect them from the environment, but also to protect the environment from them. Small little ocean critters, sponges, and corals could die from the leaching of the pressure-treated chemicals into the water. In situations like this, so we, not we talk about that? No, so that's fine. Uh, so as we pick things up, it's going to, you know, yeah, with, with chains and whatnot, you know, it could rip and tear. But yes. the good thing about this is we actually have a patch. Um, oh. they, they actually sent us a patch kit so we can patch and repair this if needed. Hey. And they're yelling over there. The main question I have is how we drill the hole. How we go, how do we drill a 16 inch diameter hole eight feet deep into, into coral like rock? So we wet punch our holes. As you can see over here on the barge, we have um, steel beam here with a five, with a uh, six star bit at the bottom of it. Yeah, I see that. And what we do is we actually take a six inch water line out of the, out of the ocean here and we convert that to two inch and a half fire hose lines. And as we pick that 8,000 pound punch up and line it up with our hole, as it drops and breaks the rock, those, those hoses are blasting the core rock out of the hole, making our hole close. All right, I want to show you something. Don't be alarmed. If you look at the connection point where the hose meets, meets the drill there, you see it spraying. That's not hydraulic fluid. Water that's being pumped out and repurposed. So, totally clean, not to worry if you noticed that. I noticed it and I asked, that's how I know. With a chain, and what they're gonna do is stand it all the way up and put that, put that piling into the bottom. So, once we get the piling set in the bonnet, yeah. then we'll get, the, we'll get everything swung out into place. And then we'll release the bonnet from the hammer, and that hammer will pull all the way up and drop. Pull all the way up and drop. So that piling has right. resistance to the ground. Right. To the hole we've already pre punched So we're going to take a pile drive. Yeah. The locals here, instead of just swimming around while they're building, they use these big giant foam pads called floats to work on. I wouldn't even try it because my sea legs aren't ready. What they're putting on now, they call them stringers. Where we're from, stringers are the framing for stairs. They're what we call choice, they call stringers when it comes to dock building. At least regionally, that's a dialect they use. So when I was communicating earlier and they said they're gonna put stringers on, I was wondering if they're building a staircase down to the ocean. Turns out, no. The actual joist they put on before they put the beam, which the beam they actually call a joist or a bent, like a B-E-N-T, underneath. So right now they're just nailing the stringers on, which really they're joists temporarily and then they're going to kind of put the supports in after and sandwich those between the piles. This is lovely. All right, that's a wrap. We pretty much learned how to build a dock today thanks to Adam at Upper Keys Marine Construction. Um, I just want to thank you for letting us come out and basically take me to school today. Yes, sir. It's been a pleasure. Well, that's how you build a dock. 
if you're a regular carpenter, you probably have no idea what they're talking about, but now you stand a good chance of building one.